The Lewis structure of a molecule gives us a two-dimensional picture which shows the relative placement of atoms and valence electrons. To construct the molecular shape of a molecule from the Lewis structure, valence, shell, electron, pair, repulsion theory, or VSEPR, is employed. A group of electrons can be defined as any number of electrons that occupy a localized region around the atom. An electron group may consist of a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, a lone pair, or even a lone electron. Each of these groups of valence electrons repels the other to maximize the angles between them. It is the three-dimensional arrangement of nuclei joined by these groups that gives rise to the molecular shape. There are five geometric patterns that arise when two to six groups arrange around a central atom. Three are shown on this slide, and two on the following slide. You must familiarize yourself with the names, shapes, and ideal bond angles of these geometric patterns. The electron group arrangement is defined by the valence electron groups, both bonding and non-bonding, around the central atom. On the other hand, the molecular shape is defined by the relative positions of the atomic nuclei. To classify molecular shapes, we must assign a specific AXE designation. A is the central atom, X are the surrounding atoms, E is a non-bonding valence electron group, usually a lone pair. A Lewis structure is required for an AXE designation. We will now look at some examples of molecules that have a linear geometry. When two electron groups attached to a central atom are oriented as far apart as possible, they point in opposite directions. The linear arrangement of electron groups results in a molecule with a linear shape and a bond angle of 180 degrees. The Lewis structures for HCN and CO2 are shown here. Both have central atoms with two electron groups attached. In both cases, the central atom is bonded to two atoms. There are no lone pairs of electrons on the central atom. From their Lewis structures, an AX2 designation can be assigned. In both cases, the central atom is bonded to two electron groups. And in both cases, those electron groups are atoms, or Xs. As mentioned earlier, molecular geometry is adopted according to Vesper theory, which states that molecules will adopt a three-dimensional geometry which minimizes electron repulsion. In AX2 molecules, a linear geometry places the bonded electrons as far apart as possible. Molecules which have three electron groups around the central atom repel each other through the corners of an equilateral triangle, which gives the trigonal planar arrangement. Shown here is an example using the nitrate ion. From the Lewis structure, we can see that the central atom is bonded to three electron groups. Since those electron groups are atoms, we can give the nitrate ion the AX3 designation based on its Lewis structure. Trigonal planar geometry is adopted in order to minimize electron repulsion. Shown here is sulfur dioxide. From the Lewis structure, we can see that the central atom is surrounded by three electron groups two atoms, and one lone pair of electrons. Therefore, we can assign the AX2E designation. The three electron groups will arrange themselves in a trigonal planar geometry around the central atom. The molecular shape is determined only by the bonded atoms. As shown here, the molecular geometry for sulfur dioxide is bent or V-shaped. Shown here is formaldehyde, another AX3 molecule. A static double bond can cause a deviation from an ideal angle because the double bond with this greater electron density repels the two single bonds more strongly than they repel each other. Shapes described so far have all been easy to depict in two dimensions, but four electron groups must use three dimensions to achieve maximal separation. This is a critical moment to remember that Lewis structures do not depict molecular shape. Consider the shape of methane, or CH4. In three dimensions, four electron groups can move further apart than the two-dimensional 90 degrees and point to the vertices of a tetrahedron. 
methane has a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. When one of the four electron groups in a tetrahedral arrangement is a lone pair, the molecular shape is that of a trigonal pyramid. When the four electron groups around the central atom include two bonding and two non-bonding groups, the molecular shape is bent or V-shaped. The following summarizes the molecular shapes associated with central atoms surrounded by four electron groups. Five electron groups maximize their separation around a central atom by forming the trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. There are two types of positions for surrounding electron groups and two ideal bond angles. Three equatorial groups lie in a trigonal plane that includes a central atom, and two axial groups lie above and below this plane. Therefore, 120 degree bond angles separate equatorial groups, and a 90 degree bond angle separates axial from equatorial groups. When all five positions are occupied by bonded atoms, the molecule has the trigonal bipyramidal shape. PCL5 is a molecule with an AX5 designation. As such, its electron group geometry and molecular geometry are both trigonal bipyramidal. When one lone pair is present in a molecule with a central atom with five electron groups, the molecule has a seesaw shape. Sulfur tetrafluoride is a molecule which can be designated AX4E as the central atom is surrounded by four atoms and one lone pair of electrons. The electron group geometry remains trigonal bipyramidal, but the molecular shape is seesaw. Molecules with a central atom surrounded by three atoms and two lone pairs of electrons are designated AX3E2. The five electron groups orient themselves in a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, but the molecular geometry is T-shaped. Having the lone pairs on the equatorial plane minimizes both lone pair-lone pair interactions and lone pair-bonded pair interactions. Iodine tribromide is an AX3E2 molecule. As such, it has a T-shaped molecular geometry. Without drawing the proper Lewis structure, one might assume an AX3 or trigonal planar geometry, this would ignore the lone pairs on the central atom and therefore be incorrect. Again, this is the ideal geometry for an AX3E2 system in terms of minimizing electron repulsion. Try drawing the molecule with the lone pairs in other positions in order to understand why T-shaped is ideal. We are always looking to minimize 90 degree lone pair lone pair and 90 degree lone pair bonded pair interactions. This is achieved in the T-shaped geometry. In AX2E3 molecules, the three lone pairs occupy the equatorial positions, while the two bonding groups occupy the axial position. This gives the molecule a linear shape. Here is an example with the triiodide ion. Again, without drawing the proper Lewis structure first, one could get the AXE system wrong and therefore the molecular geometry wrong. For molecules with central atoms attached to six electron groups, that electron group geometry is octahedral. Sulfur hexafluoride is an example of a molecule with an AX6 designation, and therefore an octahedral geometry. Five bonded atoms and one lone pair define the square pyramidal shape. Bromine pentafluoride has an AX5E designation and therefore a square pyramidal molecular shape. 
Again, do not forget to draw the Lewis structure before assigning the AXE designation, as molecular formula alone does not indicate whether there are lone pairs on the central atom. When a molecule has two lone pairs and four bonding groups, the lone pairs always lie at opposite vertices to avoid the 90-degree lone pair-lone pair repulsions. This position gives the square planar shape.